welcome to today's video. Today we're headed off early. If you saw yesterday's video, then you'll know that there's something wrong with Gabby. There's something wrong with Gabby and I've been trying to figure it out for the last year or so. She rides tilted. It's almost like her entire pelvis is tilted to the side and I know it's something common that equestrians uh, suffer from. It's just like you get used to riding a certain way or you as you're growing your body changes and adapts and moves and anyways she's a right-handed rider she tilts her entire body pulls the horse's neck to the right always uh, and today we're gonna fix Gabby you think we're gonna fix Gabby we're hoping to fix Gabby um, and in no way what? Fix her up. Fix her, fix up. her up! In a no way is this Gabby's fault or anything that she's done wrong or anything that anybody's done wrong it's not it's just something that we're grateful that we have chiropractors out there that can realign your body as you're growing and everybody I feel like just like with our horses we should see chiropractors at certain stages of development at certain stages of life and or even if you have a problem so we're headed there now we don't have Gabby where's Gabby <laughs> Always late. Like, where did she get this from? Oh, Sam and I are running. We're like, oh, there she is. But anyways, we are going to fix Gabby. So we are here. This is what it looks like. This is Gabby's bed. Are you excited? No. Gabby's not excited. But we haven't been to a doctor in a while. And we've never been to this place. This is new. So they want me to fill out this. <laughs> All these papers. Ready? Ready for this, Gabby? Be prepared to get fixed. We are done. We are out of there. How long did it take us? Almost an hour. So that was our intake one. She's going to go three times and then maybe like a maintenance once a month or so, which is not that big of a deal. And um, she really didn't have anything wrong with her. She was a bit stiff in her upper back and her neck was sore. Like her neck was actually really, really tight. She was basically, bones. yeah, they cracked her bones. Like her once out of months was by accident because it was my hip. No, she did like three, back. Gabby. She did her neck twice and then she did her back three times. Her, oh. like her shoulders, her upper back three times. Yeah, it feels good. Like even just like thinking about it makes me wish I was going there because it does feel good. I, I like going to the chiropractor. It gives you such relief somehow. Anyway, so basically the whole thing came down to, are you ready? Are you ready for it? Did you, do you know what the whole thing came down to? What? She needs better core strength. <laughs> so basically we all got to get stronger. It's something like as horseback riders, everybody needs that. I keep being reminded that it's something that we need to work on. I told the chiropractor that I try to order this big circle thing, like this big round thing that you stand on and you have to balance it. One of our viewers sent it to me a long time ago. So I ordered it for Christmas and it got out of stock, so I couldn't get it. So anyway, she said it would be great for Gabby. So she gave her some, yeah, we're stopping at Timmy's. So uh, we, she gave her some exercises to do, adjusted her, like did the whole thing. It was actually really interesting and really good. And, and so yeah, she's gonna go back two more times. Uh, for three, a total of three weeks and then she'll do like a maintenance once a month or whatever. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes and we'll see if it changes how she rides, but she definitely had a really sore neck, a really tight neck. Gabby, does your neck feel okay? Yeah. She massaged it a lot. <laughs> Gabby's funny as a patient. I've never seen Gabby as a patient before because she's never been sick. She had a fever once when she was two, knock on wood. So anyways, it wasn't, she never, she did not have any, she doesn't have anything unusual or anything major. She just has some, a little bit of, a little bit of a, I don't know. I can't even remember what she said, but basically she was fine, but she could do things to be better. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's exactly what she said. And so she wants her to strengthen her, her core so that she's able to prevent any injuries from happening in the future. Yeah, that is what she said. It is meal time. And we've cleaned out her cage so that she can find all the animals. But she doesn't seem like she's hungry. Yeah, she does this to me. She does this to us. Oh, that's just so rude. If you have enough animals, literally, you spend all your time taking care of animals. So to have a lot of animals 
to have an, a lot of animals, you actually have to love animals. <laughs> Cleaning out her terrarium is so fun though. Like, watching her run. Like, I do not know you guys. Get out of my house. Saw those crickets, eat them. Uh-oh. 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 Smush your tail. Yeah, see, I said she was going to be smooshed. Right. We need to clean that. Yeah, we need to clean that. That's disgusting. You're gross. Bearded Dragon's poop really smells, but not for like a long time. It goes away and you just, and it's like so easy to just pick up, scoop out of the cage and just clean off and then you throw it in the garbage. Yeah. All right, Trix, what do you think? You're all fresh and clean. From one animal to the next. All right, so. Gabby is going to show you a new Molly trick. Ready? Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait. All the dogs have got to go. Hold on. Do it again. It's actually really cool. Even if Gabby sucks at throwing. Oh, I still suck at throwing, but somehow she did. That oh, was that was not your fault, Molly. Hey, you, no, 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 back up, back up. Sit, no, no, sit. Back up, back up, sit, stay. I never taught her how to stay. Oh my God. You're too easy to throw these. Sophia. Just we'll do one more and then we'll try Daisy. Oh my god. I saw All right, so. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here, here we go. Sit. She knows how to catch them. I just can't throw them. Yeah. She knows, she knows how to catch them. Gabby just can't throw them. Good job. Good girl. Now it's Daisy's turn. And Daisy's never done it before. Not ever. Stay. No. Gabby, get your dog out of the way. Mom. No. Sit. Stay. Sit. Oh, ho, ho. Sit. She's like, where to go? No, she got it, but she has to go and go someplace Ruby. to. Just wait. Let's do Daisy again, because that was like her first Stay. try ever. Stay. Ruby can't catch them to save her life. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Stay. Okay, let's try the Dalmatian again. Stay. No. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> I threw that bad. Ruby. Sit. Stay. <laughs> it's okay, Ruby. You're good at you're good at jumping. Alright, mom. Just wait. <laughs> the puppies are so good. Daisy and then, takes and then, and then there's this dog. <laughs> She's got her bum way up in the air. Oh, wait, wait, you gotta get a good angle. Come here. Alright. Just wait. Okay. Just wait till I get this dog out of the way. Okay. <laughs> she she, slow motion. she looks Give like me. Mom. She looks like me in ev everything she does. In everything I do. Oh, she's good. We got some athletic puppies. Oh my god. She can catch them. <laughs> and so can the Dalmatian. And I just want to say, like, that's a deaf dog acting exactly like the rest of our dogs. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> here. Do, do oh, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, come here. Ruby. <laughs> so you know what she's doing. Aww, let's try Macy. Try Macy. Macy. But you have to do a smaller piece. Oh, uh, um. Here you go. <laughs> Macy. <laughs> She's like, help. She's throwing stuff Macy. at me. <laughs> She's like, help me. Macy. Help me. <laughs> She's like, no, that is not for me. I am too much of a girl. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a blizzard. It's a blizzard out. And I'm just in my yard. Going down to the barn to put the horses in because it's been snowing all day. Hopefully I'll be able to get back up. I think I just saw some snow drifts. Yeah. 
blizzard out. Horses are a bit wussy, hey Penny? Are you wussy? Are you wussy? What's the matter, Penny? Snowing outside? Yes, yeah, so when it snows outside, oh, enough. When it snows outside, they like to be in the arena. This is where they've been, pretty much. Since I fed them lunch outside, they've been in here. Yes, this went off. You ready to come in now? Put you in? Ready to go in? All right. All right. In your stall. Go in your stalls. She gets a little anxious and she spills her food. Happens every single time, morning and night. Morning and night, all the time. The snow coming in again. I'm gonna have another big snow drift. So I'm gonna close the door. Uh, every time I come down, Ollie's always waiting for me. Because he likes his little scratches. He likes his little scratches. He's always here for me. Always. And watch when I don't scratch him, watch what happens. Come on, do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah, there he goes. He's like, do it again, do it again. No? You don't want it done again this time? Mm -hmm. Do it again. See? Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Yes, I know, I know. And uh, I'm always putting this up because he's always playing with that string. Need to get you some toys in here, eh? Get you some toys. So I've been taking their buckets up because they've been freezing cold. And putting fresh water in them at night lately. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing with these buckets. So it comes in handy, you get two buckets and I got two other ones that go up to the house and they're and they come back down and these ones go and I replace them all every day. Every day I'm replacing buckets. This is what happens every single time I come in the stall. She doesn't like me very much and I feed you every day. So these are the buckets I bring up every day. Uh, that's from this morning. So I gave them fresh buckets but these are the buckets I take up to the house to thaw out and clean. And they get pretty, pretty messy. They like to dump hay in it all the time. So these will go up to the house and thaw out. And Daisy will be playing in them. That's what she likes to do. Don't you know that you're beautiful?